everybody. I'm Vivian at home. And that's Little Sweets in the background. She is going to be my assistant. Uh, I am a mom of three. I am a soon to be YouTuber and author tuber. And I am a writer, if you can't see by my background. I um, am not published yet. I am going to be documenting my journey from hopeful, hopeful, hopeful to I did it and I'm going to keep doing it. Um, I have two major projects right now. Um, one is a YA fantasy. A lot of themes going through it. Um, the hero theme, there's a little bit of romance, there's adventure. Um, it's mostly geared towards anywhere from 11 and above. Um, there are some adult themes that come in some of the later books. This is a series planned for um, beyond three main books that I've got going on right now. And those books are kind of doubled up. I took uh, Last year I took some of the story and I decided I needed to cut each um, each section in half, double up, and then put it back together. So, um, it went from six books to three double-sized books. Um, but we'll see if that sticks. So, this is my setup. This is what I like to call, if you're an office fan, Mega Desk. It is a double, um, it's a desk set up with two, uh, Two desks butted up against a little nightstand where I've got my printer and it gives me pretty much all the references and things that I need like I've got my uh, Children's writers and illustrators market that I got for my birthday this past year my very own copy um, I had been Turning in returning copies to the library late every year for the last like five years so <laughs> I've got my character naming books, my dictionaries, my thesauruses, my note cards, all of my writing tools. It is a little bit of a mess today. When I first set it up, it was a lot neater. I've got my calendar because I also use this area to run my family. Um, I have two older kids in school. I have a husband. I've got a lot of stuff going on at home that I have to manage. Over there is my um, daily schedule where I'm taking notes of things, my meal planner. I have a um, plot structure outline that I'm using. I also have on my other wall a uh, uh, poster board where I'm doing my uh, sticky methods for plotting, which I only discovered this past year thanks to a couple of author tubers, Kristen Martin and uh, uh, Kim Chance. And I think Jenna Marassi too, I also used her um, tips. And I created a system that is finally working. I've been writing this major YA project for over 10 years and I just wasn't getting anywhere. I was re-editing and re-editing the story. I was kind of a mess in Scrivener not really knowing what to do and then I started following these author tuber channels and I started making some real progress not only on that book but on two picture books that I'm working on. One is uh, called Addie and the Baby Dragon. It's based on my kids. Uh, my two Two older kids that I started a few years ago and um, the other one is called Rory the Rowdy Dinosaur or Rory the Rowdy Rory the Rowdy Dinosaur <laughs> and it's based on my son's uh, stuffed animal that he loves um, and I've got several more in the works that I'm every time I get an idea I jot it down I go you know how can I turn this into a story and then I um, start thinking about the illustrations that I'm going to use. My glasses are really badly glaring. I can't see very well, so I'm just going to keep this like this. Um, and then I end up uh, jotting down the illustration ideas and sitting down at my sketchbook, working on it digitally, and I'm getting to a point where I'm pretty much almost ready to uh, start setting it out. So I'm really excited about that. Um, this past Nano, I've done Nano for five, I want to say years in a row. This past Nano, I did not win. I got a little bit sidetracked with some flu in my house and the kids and everything. Um, 
but I got 20,000 words in a new story, not the same one that I am editing currently and not the picture books. Um, 20,000 words in a new middle grade chapter book called The Many Adventures of Teensy and Squeaker. So that really is a new pet project that I'm absolutely loving. It's a middle grade book. It's about two little mice who have a really big adventure. And that's all I'm going to say because I am still fleshing it out. Um, so I wanted to just give my give a little introduction to myself. I have um, taken creative writing in school. I've done a lot of writing ever since I was a little kid. I have quite a lot of um, years of stories and notebooks and years working with kids and having three kids has kind of sidetracked me a little bit. Um, but I'm really excited because this year I discovered AuthorTube and it has gotten me from man I wish I had the time to write to and and you know the organization to turn it into a book to I can do this and these girls are doing it I can do it and um, big shout out to Hannah the author of uh, wonderful beautiful strong little me she uh, let me do one of her um, pre-release reads and I really loved her little picture book and I follow her channel and she really motivated me because she's a stay-at-home mom of two and she does um, homeschooling which I'm also dabbling in the idea of working on that for my son who's having a hard time in kindergarten and um, I, I realized if these moms can do it and they can write and they can create content and they can do YouTube channels and they can keep up with their busy lives I can do it too because writing has been something I've wanted to do since or I've done um, and wanted to do and wanted to be successful at since I was a little kid I mean I have a picture book that I drew and wrote when I was like in second grade so I am here and I'm excited to get started this author tube channel and the website that accompanies it and the Facebook page that accompanies it and the Instagram are all going to be documenting my journey from hopefully all the way without any stops because I have started the blog before and run into um, hiccups but I want it to document my journey from start to finish hopefully not start to finish but start to beginning a career in writing and I'm really excited, and so is Little Sweet. Say hi! Look over here! Yeah! And we will see you in the next video. Thanks!